If you're a content creator, vlogger, or filmmaker, you know that capturing high quality audio is essential for creating professional looking videos. That's where the Rode Wireless Me microphone system comes in. This microphone is catered towards beginner users that does not have a lot of knowledge on setting up audio and tinkering on post-processing after taking the project. This is a third generation wireless microphone system created by Rode targeting users that do not have a lot of experience using advanced audio system, but this device has some features that is not basic giving the extra advantage for users that wants a high quality audio on the go. Let's unbox it. So along with the setup that we are looking for, we finally bought this Rode Wireless Me. Um, we're gonna unbox this. So inside the box is the two devices, which is the transmitter in the receiver. Comes with this nice pouch, bunch of wires, you see the wind muffs labeled as TRS to TRS and this is TRRS to TRS. This is for the iPhone if you're going to use it for your iPhone, which is you should in the charging USB-C to USB-C. This is for the transmitter, which you will wear. And this is the receiver for the camera. This is going to be the mag clip. Um, we're gonna install it now guys because I want it you know to be flawless for our receiver and the magnet itself easy setup it's straight out of the box and I know I have audio because I see the camera audio moving a little bit and uh, I don't know the settings out of the box I did not even check if there is a charge but I know both transmitter and receiver is recording I just want to find out how it sounds straight out of the box and this is how it sounds with the magnetic clip i think uh it's much more you know good source of sound if it's not closer to the neck but i believe the magnetic clip you can always wear it inside as well but i like it outside because i don't want the thing rubbing in my skin other than that this is how it sounds straight out of the box with the rode wireless me we did not update anything. We did not even charge it. This is how it sounds in a studio environment. So we downloaded the application for the PC. It's Rode Central. It's available in PC and also in your phone. Simply hook up your transmitter or receiver and click the update button. Now you see your current version and if you need an update, follow through the prompt and it will ask you some couple of questions and just proceed. As soon as it's done updating, it's going to ask you if you have an additional device that you want to update. You have to update both devices. That way you can properly communicate with each other. Here you can see the brightness and other settings such as the gain assist as automatic, dynamic and off. This is the feature can be found on both devices. Road Central is also available in iOS device. This is making it more simpler to update or change the settings on the go. But mind you, you need the wire to the iOS to connect to your device to change those settings and other features. So what's gonna happen here? We're gonna walk back in the line of sight. Hopefully the wind is not that strong that it will knock, knock down my camera. Please don't. It's kind of new, but CVE-10 paired with the wireless me. Let's go kind of like 10 feet now. And I'm still walking around into my neighbor's mailbox. This is going to be what? This is pretty far, guys. I mean, if you're going to be vlogging, um, news broadcasting, this is more than enough. But other than that, I don't really see any you know, major distance that you're gonna do this. But since Broad said it has a range of at least 100 meters, then you know it's going to be sufficient. Now, I'm still going to talk right now. I think it's gonna get cut off and line of sight is gonna get cut off. Maybe not, 
but I'm not gonna use 100 meters, it's ridiculous. But you know what, I'm just gonna sprint right here, all the way down here. Maybe you will still hear that. At this point, whenever I turn my back from the receiver losing line of sight, I lose audio connection. But as soon as I face the camera, it's re-establishing that connection, immediately there'll be no delay of that audio. As you can see from here, it has an amazing range as long as you maintain that line of sight. Be turning around, maybe, maybe. This is absurd. Like, this is way far now. There's no way. There's really no way. All the way down here, there's no wind. Hopefully, it's not gonna knock down my camera. And this is way too far, guys. Oof. That's really kind of far. Um, that would be the farthest, I think. Don't be vlogging all the way down here with your camera, you know, maybe five houses away, maybe eight. But that would be the range test. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. The road capture is able to use your iPhone's front facing camera and the rear camera if you conduct a interview or a podcasting gig. Road changes a lot of things right now, man. And you can use different angles too, if you please. So check this out. Now, if you're walking and want to show your, you know, awesome view of your beach in showcasing your crib, then you can use this side of different angle in the road capture application. It's just amazing that you can utilize an iPhone, uh, a, a phone, with an impeccable awesome audio quality from road it's just amazing good job road good job so let's talk about the mag clip guys basically the mag clip is the one that you see in the shirt it's a magnetic thing that's why it's called mag clip it's magnet and clip that way you don't have to clip the thing in here hitting your skin and you know kind of like unprofessional looking because we're on YouTube we become professional but really it's not about that it's the convenience um, the proper positioning of the microphone and beyond good looking it has that better I would say sound source because it's coming from your chest instead of the neck that's why I like the mag clip $20 do yourself a favor Go get one. Second point for the wireless me guys, gain assist technology. This is amazing because what it does is it automatically adjusts to the correct proper level. If you peeked out, if you talk loudly like this, it will automatically adjust on its own. And then when you write, put it back on its correct position, then it goes back to normal thing like nothing happened. Rode Wireless Go 1 and Rode Wireless Go 2 is a much more expensive device, which is older than the Wireless Me. It does not have that feature. You have to manually go to the actual LCD or the application to adjust that. This automatic feature is why I purchased the device. It takes extra step in the workflow and also in the post processing road did amazing on this feature thank you so much road appreciate you a lot now one thing i most dislike about the wireless me is the logo i mean if you look at it if i'm wearing a white plain tee or a black shirt look at that big o oh like oh i know i'm from baltimore i like orioles but oh that is so big um this one i don't mind because it's on top but look at that big O. I mean, there's no recovery in that one. Um, yeah, Road. We know you're wearing a Road. We know you're you're vlogging with Road Wireless Me. Yep. I dislike this one. The Road Wireless Me consists of two main components: a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter basically is the device that captures your audio, but it's built-in microphone, which is here on top 
covered by this dead cat or an external lavalier microphone which you can hook up in a 3.5 millimeter axis on the top as well. The receiver is a similar in size contact unit that attaches to your camera's hot shoe or in this case it's the small rig camera cage or your phone recording devices that receives the wireless signal from the transmitter. Retail price of the microphone system as of today is $149 United States. You can also pair a Rode Wireless Go to transmitter to the receiver of the Wireless Me. You know, it's the older model to this new device. The Rode Wireless Me uses a 2.4 gigahertz digital transmission which means it operates on the frequency that's less congested than traditional wireless system. According to Rode, the system has a range of up to 100 meters or 328 feet. On our test, I think it's more than that without any obstructions in front of the transmitter and receiver. I think it can go further than the distance without any degradation in quality. The Rode Wireless Me has the frequency response of 20 Hz to 20,000 kHz, which means it can capture a wide range of frequencies from low pitch sounds like bass drums to high pitch sounds like my voice or cymbals or vocals. It is powered by a built-in rechargeable lithium ion battery that can operate up to 7 hours. Now Rode stated that it has 2 year warranty. Um, my same question about it after that warranty there is no hopefully road will release something to replace the rechargeable battery up to two years um hopefully it still works now let's talk about the uses the road wireless me is ideal for vloggers youtubers and content creators who need to capture audio on the go but it's compact size as small as this the wireless operation you can move freely, easily around and capture high quality audio without worrying about cables or bulky equipment like my Rode field recorder. This device is also capable to use an external lavalier microphone system. So the Rode Wireless Me is also ideal for interviews and other situations where you need to capture a audio from specific source. Now, in my honest opinion, I dislike this one because the main reason I invested on the unit is because of its wireless capability, but it's still a treat for everybody, a feature if you like to use an external microphone. Now how to use it, uh, simply clip on, you know, the spots that where you want to put it in. Um, in this case, you, you saw when we unbox it, you can just clip it like that if you want and call it quits. On my end, I have invested on the Rode Mag Clip uh, for more discreet and professional presentation. The magnetic clip uh, we showed you a while ago on that test. Uh, I think for me personally, it's a little bit more easier to set up and more professional. If you want to hide it, you can always put the mag, the magnet outside and as a smaller platform. But I don't like this thing to be hitting on my skin. That's why I prefer to just put it outside like that you know it's just me this entry-level wireless microphone system has some advanced features and hardware changes versus its predecessor the Rode wireless me receiver has a built-in microphone which I think is a genius move by Rode to which the person behind a camera can continually speak with crystal clear audio along with its subject making it a perfect pair for interviews such as podcasting or documentaries. Mm, I can see the competitors getting this one soon. This specific feature itself made me buy the Rode Wireless Me because most of the time I am by myself vlogging or presenting but there are times that I involve my wife in the video to which I don't have to buy an extra transmitter. 149. One more advanced feature that the Rode Wireless Me has is what they call the gain assist technology what it does is it automatically controls audio levels for perfectly clear sound in any application. Just an amazing feature from an entry level microphone wireless system. Amazing. In the real world, if there are noise change and the subject of background levels in audio will peak or drop creating an unpleasant or distortion sound 
this feature automatically identifies the noise level of the surrounding and adjusts it accordingly. So Rode gave us three selections on this feature. You can go to the application or your PC, automatic, it's great for outdoors, that's what I use. Dynamic for studio environment, which you have some controls of the sound and completely off. Basically, you're on your own. Amazingly, Rode created an application called the Rode Capture to which the user is able to utilize their iPhone's front facing and rear camera. Great for TikToks, YouTube shorts, or interviews. Definitely podcasts. Sky is the limit. Definitely. Rode did a wonderful thing here. Amazing. The drawbacks of the Rode Wireless Me are it does not have an LCD screen. There's none. There are no visual interface that can tell you that you are recording or you get the correct levels in the audio frequencies or volume, but we got gain assist technology, which eliminates that one. But you still don't have that visual, you know, confirmation. They have two lights in front though, there's LCD, but which you can set for different levels that like dimmer or brighter, but that's it. Second one, it does not have a built-in record system on the transmitter itself. Once again, it's not expected on an entry-level system to which you have a fail-safe or a backup just in case the transmitter is cut from its receiver. The Rode Wireless Me is not able to record the audio directly to the transmitter. And one last thing, the logo. Oh my goodness, the big O on the Rode Wireless Go, Rode Wireless Go 2, they're more discreet. Definitely, this is huge. Screaming O. Mm. All of those missing features, I mean, you know, at this price point, it is not just going to happen. $150 for both of these. Quality-wise, the plastic, it has weight in it, and it feels amazing. It's it's Rode. I mean, I got a lot of Rode mics here, to be honest with you. Now, I have been using the Rode Wireless Me for a good at least one week now. Um, I got some personal advice on how to maximize the use case of the device. Uh, first and foremost, buy the clip. This is amazing. It will change the way you position the mics. It's not going to be, you know, going in any directions. Get the clip. $20 investment. Second, buy the three prong charging cable. My goodness, this three prong right here and directly to your charger, phone charger, charges the device two in one. I can put my Osmo action here too. Makes it a lot easier to charge without, you know, investing on other devices. Third, leave the dead cat in the device itself. Um, I know it doesn't look good at all, but you will thank yourself later that there's no wind or, you know, gushing sound of interference, a uh, 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 plosive that comes into the microphone. Just leave the dead cat there. You're gonna get a awesome audio. Last, do not buy any charging case, guys. Those charging cases are $50. This is free. You can put your, you know, two of them there with the dead cat, call it quits. And if you're using it, I leave it here. I mean, it fits on my bag like perfectly. Just remove, you know, the wire and call it a day. If you're investing $50 on a charging case and you only have two devices, you're throwing money away. It's on you though, it's your money. But if you ask me, I'm not buying that case. In summary, for regular users that do not have knowledge of why I would want to have a backup audio with minus 5 dB recording on top of the actual audio itself or split recording from two channel stereo or combine it in mono, these are features that you do not need on quick content creations in TikTok or YouTube shorts or, you know, Facebook social media gigs these days. No need to learn those things. The Rode Wireless Me is a powerful and versatile wireless microphone system that offers excellent performance, reliability, and most importantly, the ease of use. Regardless of experience, the Rode Wireless Me is a must have tool for capturing high quality audio on the go. Rode did us a favor in this one. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is your main boy. Peace out.